How to use the G-Line gears and service the Shimano Alfine hub. Electric G-Line. The electric G-Line uses the Brompton 4 speed gearing system, same as on the P and T-Line. There are links in the description on how to use and upkeep the gears. G-Line. The Brompton G-Line is equipped with a Shimano Alfine 8 speed hub. This hub gives a wide gear range of 307%. For full details on the hub, please refer to the Shimano website listed in the description. How to use the gears. The gears are changed using your thumb and index finger. Push the lever with your thumb to change down, making it easier to pedal, and use the index finger to change up, allowing you to go faster. Gears should not be changed under load. Stop pedaling momentarily or reduce your effort through the pedals before changing gears. Gear indexing. Select gear four on the shifter. The two yellow lines on the gear assembly unit should align. If they do not, use the barrel adjuster to achieve so. Screwing the barrel adjuster clockwise in removes cable tension and screwing the barrel adjuster anti-clockwise out increases cable tension. You can see the two yellow lines move the lines need to align for crisp shifting. Servicing. Every 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers, you should service your Alfine hub, depending on riding conditions. Servicing your hub is a complicated job requiring specialist tools. To perform this job, you will need a 15 millimeter spanner, a 15 and a 17 millimeter cone spanner, a flathead screwdriver, a cassette tool, with a suitable adjustable wrench, a torque wrench, two drip trays, the Shimano TL AF10 dust cap tool, and the Shimano Alfine eight speed mineral oil. Remove the rear wheel. For detailed steps on how to do so, see the link in the description. Place the wheel on a flat surface and remove the wheel nuts and tab washers and keep aside for reassembly. Flip to the non-drive side and remove the rotor using a cassette tool. Unlock and remove the gear selector assembly lock ring, followed by the cassette joint. Remove the dust cover, then unhook the circlip by using a flathead screwdriver. Slide the sprocket and the two dust covers off the axle. Using the Shimano dust cap tool, remove the casing for the hub, rotating clockwise. To extract the hub mechanism, hold the cone in place with the 15 mm cone spanner, then unscrew the lock nut with the 17 mm cone spanner. You can now remove the cone and lock nut fully. The hub can now be extracted from its shell. Use a rag to wipe off any old oil and dirt from the mechanism. Fill up a container with the Shimano Alfine 8-speed mineral oil then dip the hub inside it until its mechanism is fully submerged. Leave in the oil for a minute, then place it in a drip tray, rotating the hub to allow excess oil to drip. If too much oil is left in the mechanism, it will come out of the hub body, potentially contaminating your brakes. We recommend leaving to drip for one minute and four rotations. Once the excess oil has been removed, insert the hub into the shell and wipe off any residue oil. Flip to the non-drive side and screw the cone on the axle until there is minimal play. Then fit the lock nut on the axle against the cone. While holding the cone in place with the 15 mm cone spanner, tighten the lock nut with the 17 mm cone spanner. The goal for adjustable bearings is to have the bearings rotate as freely as possible without any knocking or play. If play or tightness is felt, readjust the stack. To do so, loosen the lock nut and readjust the cone. We recommend making small adjustments, 1 16th of a turn, and to check for play, and that there is no notching. Once you are happy with this, hold the cone in place and tighten the lock nut against it. Repeat the steps, if necessary, until play has been removed, but the wheel still turns freely. Fit the casing for the hub and secure in place, rotating anti-clockwise using the Shimano dust cap tool. Slide the two dust covers followed by the sprocket on the hub. 
Secure the stack with the circlip using a flat head screwdriver. Then fit the dust cover on it. On the gear selector, rotate the assembly until the red dots are matching. Slide the gear selector on the hub, matching the red dots on the hub with the one on the assembly. Slide the lock ring on the hub, aligning the yellow dots. Then rotate it clockwise to lock in place. Flip to the non-drive side and refit the rotor. Tighten in place using the cassette tool and torque to 40 Newton meters. You can now reinstall the rear wheel on the bike. For detailed steps on how to do so, see the link in the description. Ensure the gears are indexing correctly. If indexing is needed, please refer to the beginning of this video.